We're here at Kaiser Lake doing our legacy hike, celebrating the 75th anniversary of ODNR today. We had a great hike through the woods, looking at all kinds of glacial deposits and landforms, including some glacial in moraines and glacial caves. We're gonna go over some rugged terrain and you're gonna see boulders kind of strewn about. So you can take a look at the boulders and see if you can kind of spot some differences between them all if you can. This is a nice, it's a metamorphic rock. You're never gonna find this in the bedrock of Ohio, uh, unless you have a drill that goes down 10,000 feet. This rock is, is probably in, in the order of one and a half to two and a half billion years old. One of the main features that we were able to see along pretty much every trail in Kaiser Lake today uh, were these glacial erratic boulders. And they are some of the oldest rocks that you can find in Ohio uh, because they are part of this stable continental uh, shield environment that's up in Canada and these rocks are exposed on the surface today. Um, but in Ohio, you'd have to dig tens of thousands of feet in some places to be able to find rocks of that same age. Usually our hikes go around real uh, scenic bedrock areas like Hocking Hills or Clifton Gorge and this one is a little bit more of a challenge. It's, it's a glacially dominated terrain. You have to look at the landscape and use your imagination and our geologists have to convey that to the public, what they're seeing, and let them think a little bit, you know, and try to convey that to them. The glacial setting also has a lot of groundwater in it, which is very important for Ohio citizens. So Kaiser Lake Wetland State Nature Preserve is a pocket. It's a remnant wetland of a much bigger area that was once here. It is the result of the groundwater percolating through, creates a specific, uh, really specialized habitat for the plants. It's a really wonderful preserve to have um, in light of the fact that 90% of our wetlands in Ohio are gone now. Um, the first thing I want to do is just talk a little bit about some of these maps that I've got up here. This is a digital elevation model. So it's showing the elevation. The white kind of snow capped areas are like the tops of the hills. And these kind of blue colors are the lowest elevation. You know, we thought it was important to give some context for the things that they were seeing, including having elevation models, which are a fancy technique that geologists use to map landforms on a computer based mapping system. Uh, it's important to take that out into the field and verify kind of what we're looking at. Hikes like this were able to, to really show those those features to the public.